What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. This is Eric, and the Dodgers continue to sign good baseball players. And this time, it's outfielder Teoscar Hernandez, and they are in agreement on a one-year, one-year, $23.5 million contract. Another nice contract. They only got to pay him for a year, and then they can reevaluate, probably bring him back if he's good. But a one-year deal. I really expected Teoscar Hernandez was going to sign a multi-year deal. But the Dodgers get what they want. You know that song, The Rolling Stones, Can't Always Get What You Want? Doesn't seem to apply to the Los Angeles Dodgers, except in one aspect, and that's championships outside of a COVID year. I had to do it. Sorry, Dodgers fans. Had to throw that out there. But I do give you credit. You did get that 2020 championship. But I'm sure you'd love to get one. Not in a COVID season so you can have a proper parade and that's what the Dodgers are trying to do here in 2024 they're signing everyone and their dog and today they get Tosca Hernandez and his dog and yeah he's not one of the very top 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 free agents but it is an all-star from 2021 and it's a guy who stays healthy he's played in over 130 games all of the past three seasons played in 50 in 2020 and last year he played in 160 games he has power, 25 to 32 home run type power. He hit 26 last year, 93 RBIs, 741 OPS. He's got very good lift with the swing, nice launch angle. And the Dodgers, who already have a lineup that's just full of superstars, have added yet another big name here. And it's just absolutely crazy. And there's been talk about, I haven't really made that video with the, with the clickbaity, you know, is this good for baseball? I, I didn't really feel like talking about that because... I'm a Giants fan, so anything I say is pretty much going to be like, dude, you're a Giants fan. Of course, you don't think it's good for baseball. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like, oh, this is great for baseball. Dodgers signing everybody. Love it. <laughs> of course, I don't think it's great because I'm a Giants fan. But I will say this, at least in baseball, it's harder to, you can't really buy a ring. And the Dodgers have proven this. They've been, this ain't the first time that we've talked about them with a stacked, incredible team. So, um and they won the one in 2020, and uh, that's it, since 1988. And back then, they weren't really doing this. So this has been a, a recent thing with just signing everybody. And, it's you know, everybody signs with them. They get them to sign. They get them to sign on the line that is dotted. So you got to give the Dodgers credit that they get them. We'll have to just see how it all pans out this year. But in baseball, unlike basketball, if this was basketball, I would say this is absolutely bad for the game. Because if this was basketball, this would be a team that would win the championship. They would be have a 99.9% .9 chance to win the championship. Because in basketball, you just take over the other team. You don't have to wait your turn to bat like in baseball. You don't have a pitching rotation. You send these five guys out every day. And if you have a stacked roster of five, and then you have a stacked bench, and it's always just superstar after superstar after superstar, as long as they can play together to some extent, that team's probably going to win it all in basketball. Baseball is a little different because of just the, the the way the rotation works and everything. Every day it's a different pitcher, and sometimes, despite having a stacked roster, things can fall apart in the playoffs, and the Dodgers have shown that. But I would definitely say this is this 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 is absolutely nuts, and they're picking up pitching as well. Obviously, in the um, uh, uh, Glass Now trade, they pick up Yamamoto. And now, all of a sudden, their rotation, which was a little bit questionable going into the offseason, is a lot more solid because you still got all these youngsters. They got a ton of young pitching talent. Bobby Miller, just one of many uh, great pitchers that at first I'm like, well, it's going to be a lot of youngsters. Now they have, obviously, though Yamamoto doesn't have any big league experience, he's obviously a very experienced pitcher. And now they have a solid rotation. So they have glass now. They have experience at the top. Some injury-prone guys. I mean, it's still, it's still, that's the one thing that could fall apart is the rotation. But it's not looking a lot better than it, it was. So the Dodgers have just continued to make these moves. Alex says, how is anyone okay with what the Dodgers are doing? They're buying a championship, a true, a true disgrace to the game of baseball. Alex. And, you know, I, I, I you play by the rules, you know. As long as you're not breaking the rules of the CBA and willing to play, pay whatever tax penalties or whatnot, what can you do? Every team has a, a, the ability 
to go out and try to sign free agents, make trades, sign international free agents, and do what you can to make the team better. And you got to do it. And, you know, as a Giants fan, I feel like we've been falling short on that. Didn't do anything at the trade deadline. Haven't made really too many big splash moves this offseason. we got Jung-Hoo Lee, and we're excited about that. We trade for Robbie Ray, who won't even pitch until July. He's got Tommy John. And just to get him, we had to give up a couple of guys, Di Slafani and a, a, a potential power bat in Mitch Hanniger. That trade is just iffy to me. It's like, okay, we got something, but free agents you get, you don't have to give anything up. And I don't think Giants haven't signed really one. I mean, what do we get? A backup catcher? Sign a backup catcher with Tom Murphy. A backup catcher. It's not a, it's not a major move. So Giants really haven't signed one actual MLB free agent this offseason. That's really big news. I mean, I'll take the international free agents. If Jungle Lee comes over here and plays well, but you don't know how his bat will translate. So now with this signing, the Dodgers, this is just arrivals this offseason. Look at the new arrivals this offseason for the Dodgers. This is a huge list. Okay, they're not all major players, but most seem to be. Tyler Glass now, Manuel Margot, Jonathan Arauz they picked up. They re-signed Daniel Hudson. They re-signed Joe Kelly and hit triple digits out of the bullpen. They signed the number one free agent in Shohei Otani. Not on this list is, of course, Yamamoto. They also signed him, the number two free agent available out of Japan. They bring back Jason Hayward. They signed Eduardo Salazar. And they also bring back Ricky Venasco and Blake Trinan. Okay, I, admittedly, some of these moves are more minor, but now they've signed Teoscar Hernandez. They signed the top two free agents available. They've traded for another great solid pitcher. And now they've signed a power hitting outfielder. We just traded away our power hitting outfielder for someone coming off Tommy John, who has been really bad at times, back with the Diamondbacks talking about Robbie Ray. Um, the, the Dodgers are just kicking our ass. If you're talking about an offseason, Dodgers are kicking, not just the Giants, they're kicking everyone's ass this offseason. Let's just see the Giants, though. How are we doing this offseason? We, we can bring that up. Let's bring that up, okay? Much shorter list right offhand. Much shorter list. Robbie Ray, he's hurt. Look at his 2023 stats. 0-1, 8.1 ERA because he didn't barely pitch. So he was hurt all year, and we don't know what we're going to get when he comes back. We don't know how his stuff is going to look. Will he revert back to his Diamondback days when he was walking everybody? I have no idea. Backup catcher, Tom Murphy's little stats look good here, but very small sample. And, and you know, we had Tom Murphy. It reminds me of that scene in, in Major League when they're like, which we had him two years ago. We did. Four years ago then. But we did have Tom Murphy. He came to spring training and didn't make the team. Then he goes to Seattle and turns out he's really good. And now we bring him back. Did Seattle get his best years? We'll wait and see. Did P pick up TJ Hopkins with this 171 average, but he has some good power and some good minor league stats. Unproven. Devin Sweet, same thing. Unproven. Jung Hoo Lee, still you know, MLB unproven, but that's our that's our big guy. Jung Hoo Lee or bust. I mean, Jung Hoo Lee's got to come over here and <laughs> that's a lot of pressure. Uh, we did bring back Alex Cobb, and I'm happy about that, but. Uh, that was a, a club option that was an obvious move right there because the Giants, we, we, we need some pitching. And uh, this is not great. This is not great at all. There are some still free agents out there, obviously. And at this point, Giants need to be in on them. But we'll see. The Dodgers are making the moves. They are absolutely stacked. And I would assume they are the favorites right now to win it all. And indeed, 2024 World Series odds. Dodgers consensus favorite after landing Otani Yamamoto. And right now, Plus 450. It's not even close. It's not even close. Giants are way down on the list. Plus 4,000. Bet 100. Make 4,000. That's how that works. Correct me if I'm wrong. So pretty freaking bad right now. And uh, even worse for some other teams. Poor Oakland A's. Poor Oakland A's and Rockies. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think of another move. Teoscar Hernandez is a Dodger. This is crazy. Um, they are just not stopping. They won't stop. And uh, they are absolute favorites right now to win it all. And I might have to consider picking them when I do my predictions this year to win it all. It's on the table. It's on the table.